today we're going to be drawing fire. And what fire you mean? Not the regular fire, the hot fire from Elmo Surprise. So grab your paper and grab your marker, pencil, anything you can draw with, and let's get started. Okay, so we are gonna be drawing fire. And as you know, fire is an LOL ball. Sorry, okay. So, the first thing we're gonna do is draw a U-shaped face. A very large U. Now it's okay if you get it too large or too thin or any kind of thing like that disturbs you or is too big. But as you can see, it's kind of like an oval, but with straighter sides. So that's how you do the head. Okay, okay. So next I'm going to draw the hair, which is super easy to draw. So we're going to go ahead and just do one curve here, one curve here, then hair lines like that, and a little tiny clip. Now if your marker dries out or anything you're using, even pens can dry out. Pencils, I mean, you can sharpen them, but yeah. If your thing gets out, um, dries out, prepare to have a marker with you. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw the side swiss. Kinda like that, just so it comes out, and the hair lines. All right, so that's how you draw the hair and the face. Tune in to the next scene to see how we draw the face features. Hey guys, now we're back to draw the face features and this is how you do it. So we're going to first draw the eyebrows and the eyes, which are really, really easy to do. So just do two little thin lines across from each other and then two big circles with highlights in them. You can draw the highlights if you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and just color around my highlights. You can, if you wanna do it another way, you can also leave a blank space, like a circle, just by coloring it in. This is that. And over here. All right, so before we draw, draw any eyelashes, I'm going to do the inner circle and the outer circle that goes out of that circle. So it's kind of like a curved C and then another curved C that goes that way. Now it looks a little weird. It looks like an alien, but when you fill it in later with any eye color you want, it's going to look way better than it does right now. So you just do this with the other eye. So now we're going to go ahead and draw the nose, which is gonna be a curve out and a curve in. Just like that, curve out, curve in. Now the lips. So the lips are gonna kind of curve like an S shape. And then over here, gonna do a U, a tiny U, and fill it in. Now for the final step for the face, we're gonna draw the eyelashes. So to do this, draw a thick line, then a little sharp area in the corner, Oh, three little lines, or four. I'm gonna do four. I think that's about good. And another line. Go ahead and fill a triangle in. Boom, 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 boom. For those. And last, if you wanna add a little dimension or something to change it up, you can make your own yellow ball. So I'm gonna add freckles to my fire. You can do anything you want. It's really easy. Okay, so we're back with the body and we're gonna draw the body just so you guys don't get mixed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw my little things. So I'm gonna do it two little things. Okay, so now, Mommy, what do you think she's missing? She has a head, she has a neck. What do you think she's missing? Mm, definitely some shoulders. Yep. So we're going to 
go ahead and draw her shoulders, which are just little curved lines, a straight line here and then a curved line there. And we're also going to go ahead and do the bulky thing with Queen Bee, like how I said, just the bulky no. Okay, so, so funny. but this time I think it's more subtle. So I think I have learned not to bust it up too much. Yeah, it is. Okay, so now we can cap it off for the shirts. And so we're gonna draw a very narrow V. Kind of looks like a U, but got squished by a car or a her because she's been buffing up. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to add a thumb now. And it's so cute. The thumb kind of looks like that because she's been buffing up. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, so now I'm going to add the two dots for her reflexes. And I'm going to add a line over here. Okay, sorry guys. We got a little thing there. But my baby sister was crying. And her arm looks exactly like this one. So let's keep going. I'm going to draw another arm. But this time, I'm going to do the shoulder a little differently. That way it looks like her arm's more in front. Okay. So I'm going to cap off the shirt because we all know that we don't want to redo all of this. Okay, so now I'm going to do another line over here and cross over. I'm also going to add another hand right here. Not a hand, like another elbow-y thing. Or buffing up! Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll do that again. I promise. I promise. Okay? Okay. Okay. What is she missing, Mommy? She has a half an arm. The other side of her arm. Uh, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So let's make sure that we're going to do the same thing. So squished you, or V, because she's been That's funny, no. right? Okay, anyways, we're going to do a squished you, or V, and then her thumb is gonna be a tiny version of that squish U or V. All right, so now we have three dots over here, but I didn't mean to do that third dot, so I'm gonna do two dots. Boom. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and cap off the shirt and do the bell bottoms. Now, bell bottoms come out like this and do that. So we're gonna do that on both sides. It kind of looks like a really long skirt, but I promise you it won't look that like that. In the end, it's cute, it's gonna be cute. So now we're gonna add the fleams on her bell bottom and shirt. And around the thing. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and draw her shoes. So to draw them, we're gonna go ahead and do an oval. That oval has another eye, like this, like right around the center. Then we're gonna draw the shoelaces. And the other shoe. The other shoe's gonna be kind of different. It's gonna be pointed, and we're gonna have just one bow, because the other one is on the other side. Okay. I think she's missing someone very, or something very important to hydrate on to, for today. What do you think she's missing, Mommy? Her water bottle. Yep, she needs her water bottle. She's gonna be sweating in the summer. So let's go ahead and draw that. So a plant pot, like that. And a little top and a cap and now we're gonna draw the straw which is gonna be a tiny little fat straw okay so fire has been a naughty girl she put her little secret message on her bottle so let's go ahead and draw that 
so I think, I don't know, music is like something boombox and then queen. Boombox queen? Boom. And then let's just write a little tiny squiggly line over here to show what the secret message is. And now we're gonna go come back with a background. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. like